I know, bad. right? They're Microphone. We're going to try to get the inside story on you while you was. Oh, I didn't get screwed. a chance. Damn so it. I didn't get a chance. All right, I'll tell text us you guys That's all right. I have tell a tell-all book coming. <laughs> When's that being released? What's that? <laughs> When's that being released? <laughs> Next season of Robot Chicken. <laughs> Cashing in. That's right. Um, so, so what are we talking about today? Talk, so what you guys uh, talk about your working together and, and what uh, you know what's this next season going to be about? Um, I hate Harv. It's a miserable experience. Uh, I've been forced to work with him <laughs> for the last however many years. Um, no, our, bad. Uh, we have our holiday special that's coming out in December, um, which is the last episode of uh, season seven, and then we start writing season eight in <laughs> December. So this is our like small this is a little hiatus hiatus where we can actually breathe for a brief moment before we kick start our next season so yeah but the christmas special will be the last one that, that comes out which is uh which will be fun obviously i mean there's tons of information out there in the world for you guys to spoof on no what <laughs> we're running out how do you guys choose like what, what you're gonna do for that season like what it's whatever makes you laugh. Like again, you have the conversations with your friends at home where like you're you're just laughing about something that you saw or just some random conversation. You know, it's looking at your hat and saying you're a Yankees fan and doing something about Jeter, you know, finalizing and having that last hit. Um, but again, it's just having a moment, talking about a situation and then finding that one odd moment in it and it just spirals into something funny. Um, yeah, and that's that's really what sparks it because our writer's room is just a bunch of friends who've known each other for almost 20 years. That's great. Has, has there ever come a point where you guys are like, whoa, that's too far? I don't get to <laughs> um... Not no, <laughs> I was you know, say, we usually we, we kind our of, show goes kind of far. We yeah, go far. we self-monitor. You know, we know what's not really appropriate or what's what is. So for the we'll most go part, it anything goes. We, yeah, we, exactly. yeah, we're you've probably seen it. Our show is TVMA, so <laughs> it's uncomfortable sometimes to watch. Yeah, yeah. Are there any toys that you wanted to use that you haven't used yet? Um, you know, we keep talking about Ben Ten. Like that's the one we haven't really cracked yet. Like it's that it's that next generation because we're a little older. Um, people know it very well. It's very popular, um, and yet, man, we just cannot figure out the way to make that the funny sketch. We've written like ten that just get thrown out. Um, Breckens wrote one that was horrible. Um, he, can, <laughs> he can come by and tell you about it later. Um, but yeah, it's that's probably the biggest one. So you've been doing this for all these years. Do you ever say to yourself, "What the hell are we doing? Are we this kind of a..." An animated series, you know, what did we get ourselves into? And now, are we that committed? Do we, right. Is there any way to get out? They, I feel they, like after a few seasons, you just get kind of <laughs> used to it, and then it's just like, okay, I guess this is just a show that people want to see. I'm the flip where I'm like, why is anyone paying me to play with toys every day? <laughs> like, I, I, this is my job? Like, I'm going to ride this as long as they let me. Well, you do right. right. You don't just play with the toys all day. No, I just play with the toys and let other people write. I'm just sitting there at my desk. No, um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's really, it's a surreal experience. And it's it's never a pause where I'm like, oh, man, I'm really doing this. Like, I shouldn't be, I should be doing something else. Um, yeah, again, this is a very unique show. Um, yeah, and just hit luckily when it did. And if I can follow up, in light yeah. of what you said about writing, talk about I mean, how do you write a show like this? I just, I mean, what do you do? Videotape yourselves? With <laughs> no, I mean, our show is, I, I, I compare it to SNL. It's a sketch comedy show. You know, people write sketches and you submit them and we vote on them. Yeah, everybody sits at their computers typing stuff up at the end of the, you know, from like 9 a.m. to 4, everyone's writing. 4 o'clock, everybody gets distributed packets. You read through the packets. You see what you like. We vote on them. If you, they're voted, it goes into the next round, if you will, where it's going to get scripted. You, or we give notes and say, hey, punch it up like this and bring, bring it back to us tomorrow. Or, you know, hey, this is terrible. Don't ever think about it again. <laughs> Has the yeah. process changed at all? Um, the seasons? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, if anything, the only way it has is we've gotten younger writers mm -hmm. to come on for every season who are amazing people. And uh, I think they get beat up more. <laughs> um, whereas us veterans are like... We, we love the fact that we have a little more power over yeah. them. <laughs> when everything started, I mean, did, did, did any of you guys think it would go as far as it has? I you mean, knew. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we thought we were getting canceled after the first few episodes. Um, again, it was for Seth and I, first season, it was the second job. We had other jobs while we were doing it Which because... Was? Uh, Seth was an actor. Of course. <laughs> no, I know that. I miss your job. I know what he did. <laughs> Thank you. I worked in comic books, um, and we never thought it would be a full-time uh, scenario. And then we had to realize, oh, this is this is bigger than all this other stuff. And I will say, it's, um, it's kind of crazy to think too, because back then, 
you know, a, a stop motion show that would have longevity was pretty rare and unique. So yeah, yeah. right now it's the longest running stop motion show on TV. So that that's pretty crazy and pretty hard to imagine way yeah, back there. Then. She's taking a picture. <laughs> have you guys oh, have oh. you guys thought about putting it on the big screen? I'm like, gonna want that. Um, yeah. we'll get you. We on. always we always talk about it. I mean, again, it's it's tricky because like if we're gonna do long form. It has to be very specific. Like doing an ADD show, more than 11 minutes. Like, for, can you handle that? Throws you kind uh, of off. Like Probably that? the closest thing to it is Jackass the movie. Um, but uh, if we're gonna do it, like we did a bitch pudding special this season, um, I think we can expand. If we take like a specific characters, I think there's something to that. A little but more of a story. Again, yeah. Simpsons didn't have a movie till what, season 20 something? Um, Family Guy still hasn't had a movie. Like we got time, we enjoy the television world. And uh, if we're, if if we're gonna do a movie, what? Let's we'll do something else. How do you guys yeah. go about getting? You have like a lot of big people that are guest starring. How do they like approach you? Do you guys approach them? Um, first season was a lot of begging because uh, nobody knew what it was. Um, we were like, yeah, we're a sketch comedy show with action figures, and uh, we're 11 minutes, and everyone's like, what are you talking about? Um, but we got lucky, so we called out a lot of favors from Seth and people Seth had worked with, and I think it was like a series of people. We got like the whole cast of Scooby-Doo to do it, which was like Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince and uh, uh, like all those guys, and then Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise had come in um, because Seth had just done a movie with them, and then Charlize Theron came in because they had just done an Italian job. So so all these people came in and then once we had that roster people were like oh we should be a part of that and then by the time it actually came out people were starting to follow us and like come to us saying they wanted to do the show and that that's been the most amazing thing like uh, you know, Christian Slater stalked one of our writers at a party saying how much he loved the show. <laughs> and we're like, all right, you're going to be on the show. This is great. Like, again, you just never know who you're going to run into. And it's like, yeah, I really like it. Um, are, yeah. they, are any of them offering up their toys or materials <laughs> to be used in, or, or their own scripts? Of uh, Donald Faison's brought in some of his toys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he has. Um, yeah, I mean, some people do. And again, like, they're big geeks. And, and uh, like, Tim Roth came in and brought his son, who was a big fan, and, like, hung out with us for the whole day, just walking around. And it, it was just, again, very grounded, wonderful experience. And he just had fun with us in the booth. And, uh, yeah, it was, really, it was really nice. And who gets to keep the collection? Who gets to keep the toy collection? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's it's behind like a glass wall. No, um, uh, it sits in our, our puppet department. Yeah, and just you know, it's all categorized and in beautiful boxes. And when it's we kind need, of like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark, where yes. everything is just filed away, really boring. very much so. Yeah, that's kind so of what it, it is. It's museum worthy now. You can yeah. donate it at some yeah. time. Yeah. Very much so. Uh, going into yes. your eighth oh, season oh, now. I'll get you right after this. Going into your eighth season now. Do you see a possible expiration date for the show, or is this something you guys want to do to your like until you can't do? You it You know, anymore? when we were doing it, and we started. We we wondered how long it would sustain but then the more we have had interactions with people like like Lauren Michaels it is SNL like again everybody who's worked on our show has gone to do their own stuff like I always like to point to you know Kevin Shinnick did Mad uh, the Mad Show um, you know uh, Hugh Davidson's about to do Mike Tyson Mysteries um, you know uh, Rachel Bloom is about to do uh, My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend on Showtime um, these are all their shows and they all started working on Robot Chicken and we're all still friends and we lure them back when we do specials um, I'm hoping that we continue to create a roster and, and base of just new talent that we can end up finding. Corrupting so, influence. Huh? Corrupting influence. <laughs> um, oh. Are we going to get any good uh, like bonus features or anything on the next uh, DVD? DVD release? Yes. Um, we have some really good stuff. stuff. We have some really good stuff. We, we On our DC2, RCDC2 uh, DVD, there's a whole behind the scenes of us uh, getting Q&A'd and seeing, testing our DC knowledge. And I don't know how, if you know how deep that lore goes, but those questions get progressively harder. <laughs> and it is very uncomfortable to watch all of us try to answer those. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's, all, uh, it's all fun. We always have a really good time you know, with that stuff. I don't mean to spoil anything, but there's a possibility there might be um, my beard shave that could be in a... <laughs> Harv had a beard for 18 years, and uh, we made a bet that he lost. I so. Lost it. So about a week ago, he shaved his beard, and yeah. his wife had never known him without it. It was about as good looking as that. Yeah, one. it was probably <laughs> crazier than that. Even. Was the but best. a little gray. I actually trimmed this up not too long ago. <laughs> I had to so find his guys... childhood idol. 
can do a box <laughs> set where you can have a toy in it. With you, with well, we'll put you. some of the hair in each box. Uh, <laughs> There's enough. That's not creepy. That's, that's, so that's, that's, that's like, like the golden ticket. Beard. You're going to have to grow the beard back. And grow the beard. <laughs> Are there any voices that you guys have gone for that you just... Like before you first started. That we haven't gotten? Like haven't gotten. Well, Harrison, one, Ford. Yeah. Harrison Ford. Okay. Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Anyone yeah. knows Although that? I have like, I have a small <laughs> chance window that I might be able to do for eight. I have an idea of how we can try to get to him. So we'll see. So I know Calista Flockhart had a really good time on our show. <laughs> and I'm hoping she speaks ah. very highly of us. Okay. Because um, she was awesome. But, um... Yeah, I mean, he chooses what he does, so yeah. he's a big, he's yeah, a big boy. You get Mike Tyson at so. least. Uh, I would love Mike Tyson. I mean, he has his own show, though, now. I know. Yeah. He's, he's a big time now. Yeah. He's, he's in I good shape. I can imagine Mike Tyson and Skip being pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty fun. Oh, that's yeah. Fun. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Last we ever see for um, our, our readers, would we ever, a lot of people ask, would we ever see a robot chicken video game? Video game? Oh man, that'd um, be great. The humping robot running around like Super <laughs> Mario. I, I, uh, I, I have a vision for it. Um, I want to do it like WarioWare, where it's like a bunch of those mini games. Um, so you can kind of flip around to do all that. But so not side scrolling. Maybe, maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see. What are some of your favorite video games that you guys have um, Recently or in life? I mean, like, all time is the N64 uh, Mario Kart game. Yeah, yeah I was going to say Mario Kart. <laughs> like, That's my jam. I can still that. play that today, and it's the greatest thing yeah, ever. Although it. the new one is really good, um, but it's not that. Um, but, yeah, overall, like, Final Fantasy VII is, like, one of those. Like, again, you point to the classics. Like, yeah. recent ones, I have less time to play. I'm mostly an iPad guy right now. So, <laughs> yeah, you have time to, like, oh, I have, like, ten minutes? And you can just do that. 